you know, if someone's listening and they're thinking, like obviously everyone talks about superfoods, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if acai is like the first, not the first, but like it was a mainstream movement, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and important, but, but if people listening, like why, why superfoods? Why, why should they look to include those in their diet? They're obviously going to be more expensive because they're coming from, you know, sure. places around the world. Yeah. Um, so what, what is the importance of, you know, if, you, if you're talking to someone who's just, you know, every day ha has a regular diet, tries to cook when they can, why incorporate superfoods in their diet? Absolutely. You know, one of the big things is that the modern diet is actually really deficient in a lot of macronutrients and micronutrients that we need, right? I mean, you know, especially in healthy fats and, and excuse me, in a lot of vitamins and minerals that we, that we really need and that you can experience that sense of well-being and having, having vibrant nutrition and having the right amount of nutrients coming into your body. I mean, to me, it's like it increases the potential of you to do all the things that you're trying to do, right? Increasing energy levels, reducing fatigue. You know, I talk a, a lot about, you know, kind of like hormone balancing in, in the adrenal system, right? Because so many people, we all live in a really, really stressed environment and stressed world. Yep. And, you know, and we also the demands on our lives, you know, mean that we're, we're responsible for doing things that I think human beings have never before on the planet had to, had to deal with. Right. And so being able to manage your own stress levels and your own stressors and really reduce your stress level and have higher energy, um, have greater mental acuity and, you know, and, and just kind of increasing the potential. That's really what superfoods are all about for me. And then there's also that element with certain superfoods where they can actually really detoxify the body and kind of, you know, clean, clean the body, um, which is a big part of what I experienced with like spirulina and even hundred percent, you know, cacao, chocolate and, and maca and things like that, where they're really actually helping the body to kind of right imbalances. And I can only say, you know, from my own experience and from getting to talk to thousands of people that people have some pretty transformative experiences of, of treating food as medicine and eating in that way. Right. Yeah. So, so when you 